Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, welcome back to another recipe video with Hoodie the Foodie. Now you must be thinking by my attire and the way I greeted you that we're doing something different. Yes, we'll be doing something different today. Actually this week, we're doing a Pakistani week. Now, originally I'm from Pakistan, if you don't know me well enough, and I'm based in Dubai. So, just to let you know that when I started Hoodie the Foodie, a lot of my family and friends, they encouraged me to do a lot of Pakistani dishes. But unfortunately, I didn't know that many Pakistani dishes. So I'm getting trained by my mom to teach you guys these Pakistani dishes that we make at home. Now the first dish that I learned that was Pakistani was a sweet dish. Now I was thinking for my video this week, should I start with a sweet dish? And I was like, why not take you on this journey with me that where I started cooking Pakistani dishes from. So I started cooking with something called Besan Ka Halwa. Besan actually means gram flour. And you must be thinking, oh my god, gram flour, sweet dish, that doesn't even work. But trust me, this is a delight. You will love it. Um, and the fact is that this is something I've been eating ever since I was a child. And honestly, as far as I can remember, I've been eating this dish. So I'm so happy that I'm going to be able to share this recipe with you so you can try it in your house. So why not get started? So let's get started. First, I'm going to take two cups gram flour in a wok. You want to cook this till aroma starts coming and also that the color of the gram flour has changed. Once this is done, I have to sieve the gram flour. This is very important as you want to make sure that the texture of the halwa becomes silky and smooth. Now I'm going to take half cup ghee in a wok and you want to melt that half cup ghee. Then I'm going to take quarter teaspoon green cardamom powder, mix it in. Then I'm going to take that sieved gram flour powder, Mix it in. See how I'm mixing it? Make sure that you're scraping the sides in and do it very quickly. Otherwise, you'll start getting these small balls which you don't want. Keep pressing it. Keep combining it. See that technique that I'm doing. Next, add 1 quarter cup white sugar. Now it's really up to you on how much sweetness you want but I think this is just right. Mix it in, combine it, see how I'm mixing it, it's really important. Keep pressing it as well because that will help you combine it. Then add 1 cup milk but slowly. And mix it really fast. You want to make sure that those small balls don't come. Mix it really quickly like this. Combine it together. And see, you've got this really nice and silky smooth halwa. Make it into a ball. Oh, it looks so delicious that I already want to eat it. Now I'm going to take a 6 by 8 inch tray and I'm going to put that halwa, press it on the sides.
let the halwa cool for 30 minutes after that slice them into pieces the way I am doing right now then leave it to cool for 2 hours And voila, you're ready to eat. Okay, so we're back from the recipe. Hope you guys liked it. It's an exercise for all of us, for our arms. Um, I know it's a bit tricky, but I'm sure you'll get there eventually. It took me a while to get the perfect halwa. Um, so shall we do the taste test? I'm super excited. Let's try it. I think this is the best halwa I've made so far. I'm so happy with it. It tastes so delicious. And it's like this right amount of sweetness. And it's just like such a beautiful texture all together. I think you'd love this. This is like my perfect snack, especially a midnight snack when everyone's asleep. So I hope you guys like this recipe and you're gonna enjoy a Pakistani sweet dish. I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you.